What is happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive, and thank you all for joining me tonight. Got a special video, and we are going to get rowdy with this flea market box that I paid 10 bucks for at a local place on Sunday. I have not gone through it. I have not planted things in here, contrary to some people's beliefs, but I'm excited to go through it tonight for the first time with you guys. And as I showed you already, the thing that I saw whenever I came across is I saw a Van Slyke Rookie 84 Tops, which as a kid, my brother and I, as kids, we were big Van Slyke fans, obviously, being uh, Pittsburgh being the hometown team. So, love that uh, 84 Tops rookie card. And then yesterday, when I was kind of just showing it and uh, pre telling everyone that I'd be doing this tonight, I saw the second year Clemens. Now, this guy at the flea market didn't have a bunch of cards. This is the only thing he had. I think he said they might have been his brothers. And he's like, yeah, there's definitely a Roger Clemens rookie in there. I'm like, it's probably not a rookie. I do see some 85 tops. This is probably what he was talking about, the 86 tops. Now, if you are a collector of rare cards, hard-to-find cards, there is a pretty rare Clemens 86 tops. The second-year Clemens, it's got a blue stripe down the front, up at the top. And uh, it's a pretty valuable one. It's considered an error card. I think it surfaced like not too long ago, kind of came to light and uh, people started noticing it, but pretty hard to find. So if you got 86 tops sitting around, might be one that you want to put in your air box. So the Clemens second year kind of beat, but I'm gonna make a stack of like the best cards. Like I said, uh, every time I see boxes like this for 10 bucks, as long as they're not all 90 Don Russ or 91 Fleer, and it's a nice mixture. I'll buy them every time because it's fun as hell to go through them, especially with you guys. So we got a Van Slyke 84 tops with the Cardinals there. And it looks like a second year Van Slyke 85 behind that, the 85 tops. Some 91 traded in there, it looks like. We got Mikey G, Corey, Paul L, Tango, and everybody else. What is going on? Thank you guys all for being here. And a puzzle piece. Might find some junk wax in here. I mean, we're gonna find definitely gonna find lots of junk wax. But stuff like this, you never know. You could find some hard to, to track down error cards. You might find some funny photos. It's just very tough to say. You might find nothing but a bunch of doo-doo. Jay Johnston, Rick Aguilera, Tony Phillips, and 91 Fleur shows up. And look at that, 92 Bowman. As much junk wax and stuff as I find in the wild, I don't ever really see 92 Bowman mixed into collections. And I freaking love this set. It's a very high-end set, as most of you guys know, for this era. And Jack Clark, 91 traded. But all the boxes that I go through and find, I don't really ever see 92 Bowman, even commons. We've got some top-loaded cards in here on the top of this box. Mookie Betts. So there are some newer stuff. Bryce Harper. Doc Gooden says, forever says, I'll give you five plus shipping for all the goodens you find, if any. I'll have to start putting goodens aside for you. That was a project I was working on today. I have uh, like a plan to clean up all of my stacks of unorganized cards everywhere. So I'm making player lots right now. And Doc Gooden is definitely one of those. So as I come across them, I will let you know. I should have a nice, sizable stack. We got Walker Bueller Gold Cup. It's a nice one. Glaber Torres Gold Cup. Ryan Klesko in a top loader, probably since 1992. It's not his rookie. His rookies were 91. And Pete Alonzo. I feel like Alonzo's a guy you really can't go wrong collecting, piecing in the grand scheme of things. Brian Charles in the house. And we got some 2020 tops in here. Longoria, Zerman, Hunjin, Ryu, Rainbow Foil, Chris Paddock, Future Stars. And a Josh Rojas rookie card. So I'll take these rookies and put them in my backup rookie box. Looks like someone just opened stuff and dumped them in here. Hopefully the camera angle isn't awful. This is a kind of as high as my tripod goes up. There's a U Darvish. I don't know if it's like a photo variation maybe. I don't know. It's 2019 top. So I don't know why it's in a top loader. But it's probably not a variation of some kind. If you see anything that I pass over, feel free to scold me. Waddy Herzog. The flat top looking like Guile from Street Fighter. Got some more 84 tops in here. Tommy Herr. Daryl Porter looking dorkier than ever in that photo. Vince Coleman. Tito Landrum and a Reese Hoskins insert. I think that was an all Hoskins insert set. There's a Cole Tucker rookie. I'll put that in the backup rookie box. And we got a strawberry. All-star card, 89 tops. And another strawberry. George Hendrick. And Tony Gonsolin rookie card. That's not a bad one there. Put that in the stack of rookies. And let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Never been giving me power that I can't control. Paul Zenny Robot sightings today. 
I didn't have any robot settings today. I did not, uh, I didn't go to Taco Bell for once. I did go to the BK Lounge, where dreams come true. And there's another Herzog there. But I did not go to Taco Bell. But the more you talk about it, the more you make me want to go there. Did I miss something? I apologize. What did I miss? Feel free to scold me, because... Missed over something. Terry Francona got some 88 tops here. Tony Pena. There's Tat Paddler looking ever so pissed off and disgusted in the dugout. The gum soaked through that one, you can see. Tony Russo, Jeff Kenny. What is going on, man? Have I ever been up or near Toledo? You know what? I don't think so. I don't think I've really explored Toledo. There's a place that somebody told me about last week that I think I'm going to go to in Ohio this Saturday. I freaking love Ohio. Like I think I was like supposed to be born in Ohio. There's so many cool stores, and I just love the scenery. The drive, the drive out there, and it's like super close. There's a big cat for Corey and Ruben Sierra. For all you Ruben Sierra fanatics still left out in the world. And it's more 2019 tops. Maybe we'll find a Fernando Tatis rookie in here. Probably a fat chance, but you never know. <laughs> Found any Judas rookie cards in that box? No Judas rookies yet. There is some gold cups coming up here. I'm trying to do this in a manner where my fat fingers are not taking up the entire screen. Andre Thornton. Smarty Ford's second year. Willie McGee. Pretty heinous look there for Mikey G. Lonnie Smith. Bruce Suter. So, I mean, that's a... I'm not going to say it's a decent one. I mean, it's it's better than uh, Junk Wax Commons, I should say. Bruce Suter's in the Hall of Fame. It's an 84 top, so we'll put it off in the... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really making a better stack. I'm making a rookie stack and, like, best stack, I should say. Glaber Gold Cup, Chris Bryant, another Bryce Harper insert. Welcome to Philly. Can we find a Mike Trout rookie in here? <laughs> Probably not. Alex Bregman. And a random basketball card, Dwayne Deadman. Just kidding, I know it says Deadman. Jason Martin rookie card, put that in the back of rookie box. And another Bryce Harper. Let me get a face for radio. <laughs> Hoskins insert sets. There's Sonny Gray. Tag you so you'll see that one. What am I missing here? Joe B says you need to go to Big Fun Toy Story. I feel like I might have been there, Joe. I don't know. I'll have to look at that. That sounds really familiar. Mommy is based. Maomi is basically to the. Is that where the antique mall was at? That might be the one I have to go to. Pass is live. I've nominated Tango to become a part of the Wrench crew. Make it so. Tango Victor, do you accept that responsibility? Coming from Corey. Let us see us his response. Some more 2019. Ohio is, is overrated. I always have fun out there. I always find cool stuff. I guess maybe if you live there, it might be uh, overrated. The places that I've been going are pretty sick. Like, uh, what uh, what area was I in recently in Ohio? Where, where was that? That uh, it was Dover, Ohio. Tango. I don't think I have the ability to do that. Yeah, I don't think I can do it on a live stream. No, it's not let, It's not going to be the option. Some more 2019. Adam Jones for Corey's PC. Trey Turner. Aaron Nola. Whit Merrifield. All the rookies have been siphoned out of that stack. There's J-Ram and Tyler Glass now. Just a lot of flatland is all good over that in Ohio. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, I've had I've had pretty good time out there. Yeah, for some reason, it's not letting me do that. Might be something you got to do after the stream's over. More 2019. Gregorius. Did somebody pick through these? Blake Snell. Well, look at that. That's pretty freaking sick. Shohei Otani tops now. Is that actually considered a rookie card? No, it's a 2019 card. I was going to say that like threw me off for a second. I just saw that and I'm like, that's pretty cool. The wrench is a holy grail. Trevor Story insert card. D. Gordon throwback. And we got some rookies here. I see a Jeff McNeil rookie card. So we got Chance Adams. Jeff McNeil is a decent one there. Put those off in the rookie stack. And we got Ramon Laureano. Not really. That was definitely a decent one back in 2020. Not really the case nowadays. And Chris Bryant. Some inserts of Chris Bryant there. What else is going to be in this trusty freaking sack? There's a random 77 Joe Torre. Babe Ruth playing All-Stars. Welcome to Philly Bryce Harper in each row. From kind of like his younger years. 2008. 
So, so far, I'm uh, I'm pretty impressed by this box. It's not all 90 Don Russ. Sean Murphy, rookie card. Paul says, hate Ramon Laureano. Well, he was caught juicing, wasn't he? Isn't that what happened with him? Pretty sure. Tyler Flowers and Dwight Smith Jr. We got some basketball thrown in here, too. Maybe I have to change the title of the video because it's not all baseball cards. I thought it was. I'm missing stuff. Shane, Shane from Oddball Cards is in the house. As trends come and go, passes alive. The, talk, <laughs> the Taco Bell King remains. Hashtag Craig B. Shane, welcome. Always a pleasure to see you. I think Corey posted a link to Shane's channel, Oddball Cards. There you go. Check him out if you have not already. Very good dude. Always a pleasure to have you in here with us. We got Dwayne Wade. Craig B. Needs to be here as well. I know he's probably working. Tim Duncan, Steve Nash. There's a Patrick Ewing. Sean Kemp, Prism. And a bunch of newer basketball cards that I am not going to know anything about. Could be Commons, more than likely, probably. Isaiah Thomas. Is that like Isaiah Thomas's kid? Like the Isaiah Thomas? I'm guessing it might be. Do you see any big names here? Let me know. Steven Adams and Kevin Looney. I'm seriously thinking that the fact you plug Taco Bell so much <laughs> should get you a tax write-off. I wish it would. I really wish that that's the way life worked. Life is not fair. Pretty all stars set, Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, and Colin Moran. Jeff Cannon says, do you have a list of Desert Storm cards you need? The Desert Shield, I don't have a list, but uh, I had talked to somebody about going to the Washington show this Saturday. I think he might bring some, and I need to make a list like tomorrow so I don't buy the same ones over and over again like I've been doing. So I'm going to do that here soon, actually. I might do it tonight, maybe tomorrow. Who am I kidding? I'm not doing that tonight. <laughs> Hopefully I'll do it tomorrow. Tim Anderson in the top load with Bregman, but uh, I need to make a list because I'm tired of buying duplicates. Jeff Kansas, I'm heading to two shows. I need a, a bunch of the big names, um, and they're getting up there in price. Like I need Nolan Ryan. I need both Griffies. He has an all-star card, the base card. I need Thomas. I need Gwynn, Mattingly, Puckett. I have a few of the big names, but uh, I got the Chipper Jones, which is the biggest one already, but I crossed that off like last year. There's Bo Diaz. we got some 90 per deck here. Lewis. Aquino throwing a temper tantrum. Looks like he literally got put in timeout in the dugout. Jeff Innes, rookie card. Todd Zeal. And, of course, Vance Law. When I was a kid, I absolutely hated this card so freaking bad. It was bad enough I already hated him. And then this card came out in 1990, and it just pissed me off. Big Cat for Corey. And we've got some 88 Donruss for Joseph C., if he's in here. It's Mike Greenwell. Early on in his career, it's a Billy Ripken rookie card. And we got the 68 design coming up. TJ Rivera and Josh Smoker. Those are from, what, what was 2017? 2017. So I'll put those in the back of rookie box. As I typically do, I go back about 10 years with that one. And some more 2019 tops. Can we find a Tatis in here, possibly? Doesn't appear to be too many rookies. Trevor Story. Luis Ortiz, rookie. Sammy Khalifa flying through the air. Guriel Jr., we got some more basketball here. And look at that. Akeem Olajuwon, number one draft pick. It's a pretty cool card from the early 90s, 1993. Derek Coleman, Robert Williams III. Maybe there possibly could be an MFing Michael Jordan rookie in here. As the guy said, Originally, his predecessor before I bought this box. Long ago, you may find an MFing Michael Jordan rookie in there. Maybe that will be the case today. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Have you considered doing a live stream from the Taco Bell lobby? I have not, but I probably should. I have no idea what's to come in this box. Some more basketball from 2019 2020. DeMar DeRozan. Steven Adams. I haven't heard too many of these names. You gotta love finding boxes like this where the cards just tossed in there. Paul L is chancing for a Mike Walkton sighting. What did I miss? And keep him. Wally Moon's unibrow is in here. I said, wait, what did you think of the Goonies? <laughs> Joseph C., you know I did not watch the Goonies. That would be too easy. Nasir Little. But I have plans to watch it this weekend. 
So, please do not give up on me just yet. Quinn Derry, Weatherspoon. Cameron Johnson, rookie card. So, a couple rookies there. <laughs> Nick West says, LOL. It's happening. It is happening this weekend. And Nick West with the Carmen emoji. Not even going to try to pronounce that one. So, we got some rookies in here for basketball. And some sparkly cards for the mantle. Dylan Brooks, some Prism, Thaddeus Young, and Otto Porter Jr. How many episodes of Boy Meets World did you watch last night? I actually didn't watch any Boy Meets World. I need to. I, I fell asleep watching Seinfeld again. That's like my go-to. I just put it on and it just repeats over and over and over again. I think it's on season eight now. Then I'll wake up and it's like a season ahead. <laughs> it's, just, it's always on the background, Butterfingers. So we got some top-loaded basketball here now. A lot more basketball in here than I really thought. Need to look up some Goodwill options. You know what? I, I used to look at Goodwill like 10 years ago. And it seems like it got really popular. And it's kind of hard to get like decent deals on there. There's, uh, as Corey calls him, Kawhi Leonard. Cubby White rookie card. James Harden. No fun of James Harden tops rookie. That'd be sick. Kyrie Irving. Russell Westbrook. And Maurice Lucas. That one's from the early 80s. Actually, 80, yeah, 80, 81. And we got Kevin Durant. It'd be nice to find one of his rookies in here as well. Trevor Williams in the house as well. Says, two bucks for mesh Wi-Fi. And have you seen Dawn of the Dead? <laughs> Thank you, Trevor. I have seen Dawn of the Dead. That is definitely one that I have seen. I forget what my buddy was talking about today. There's another movie he was mentioning. I think it was Blade Runner. I'm like, I think I saw parts of that a long time ago. I watched the original one, but I don't really remember it too much. And he's like, you need to watch the new one. But uh, I don't know if I'll do that or not. I have to watch uh, The Goonies first. Ozzy Smith, we got some Ralston Purina from the 80s. Another Van Slyke rookie card. Put that in the Van Slyke rookie pile of two. Bill Madlock, Juan Gone, insert from Collector's Choice. And we got some 1990 Fleer here. I'm hoping that there might be a Dave Martinez error card. Jay Buhner with some sort of weird, strange orb pink orb on his hat that I'm obsessed with. So that's going in the Oddity Collection. Todd Worrell ends that stack. And we have some more goodies and top loaders in here. Paul George. What else can we find in this box of mystery? 89 Tops, of course, is going to be in here. Oral Hershiser, the sun in his eyes. Checklist card, 84. Chris Carpenter, rookie card. And some more 84 tops. Let's find a Donnie Baseball rookie here. That'd be pretty sick, but probably unlikely. Unless I planted one in here. Maybe I planted something very, very good in here. We got a Topps Gold card from 2019. Harper and Freeman there. Nick Hunley is a Topps Gold. Johnny Mize freaking well. Trey Williams says, I love going to Monroeville Mall because of Dawn. Yeah, that's pretty sick, man. There's There's been quite a few movies that have had... Uh, Random scenes from Monroeville. And Monroeville Mall is not really one that uh, I go to too often. But they do have card shows there. Uh, every so often. I, I feel like it's like every four months they probably have a card show there. But this is, the amount of dealers these days is pretty slim. I usually end up not finding anything there. So I don't go out there too often. But sometimes Monroeville, the uh, movie theater in the mall, has some random movies. I think I went and saw Batman, uh, Mask of the Phantasm there. Several years back, it was the anniversary of that one. Jake Cave, rookie for the backup rookie box. Johnny Field. Willie Domus Gold Cup. I feel like if you're watching a lot, you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Call me T. Thanks, man. I'm glad that you got to make it. Jeffrey Ramirez. So we got some rookies in here. Put off to the side. 2019. And Kevin Kramer. My backup rookie box. So... Can we find a Tatis in here? Maybe there'll be an Austin Riley. He was an update that year, as far as I remember. Would be a nice one to find among this stack. It's so weird holding the cards this close to the camera. I'm just not used to it. I feel like I'm pissing everybody off. Nick Birdie, rookie card. Jensen, Underwood Jr., Jake Bowers. Floyd Fan says, John's three most dangerous words. I have <laughs> I have plans. As Corey calls it, it's a kiss of death. 
I told Corey earlier this week, I'm like, you wait, man. I'm going to have a video every day this week. And he's like, yeah, that's not happening. But so far, I think I've proven him wrong as far as that goes. Nick Senzel, Future Stars. He was uh, pretty hyped up there back in 2019. But I probably won't have anything tomorrow. I mean, uh, I might space some things out because I don't really have anything for next week. So there might be a drought where there's nothing next week other than, uh, well, I haven't decided if I'm doing an auction on Wednesday because I may be going to Baltimore on uh, on Wednesday. I have not decided, but Wolves in the Throne Room is playing in Baltimore. It's the closest show they're playing to me. So I was like, that kind of sucks. I'd, I'd like to go see them. I've seen, I saw them live in 2017, and uh, I wanted to catch them again. So... I may be going down there on Wednesday. I haven't completely decided yet. Maybe hit some antique malls if there's anything good in that area. But we got 84 tops, some rack packs to rip open. I don't know if I'll do those tomorrow or wait till next week. What is the Alf Rip plant? <laughs> got some more junk wax here. Steve Sachs. Ooh, 94 Bowman. I like it. Some stickers here. Foster Dale Murphy sticker. Jose Canseco Master Blaster. Bill Buckner. He's going to watch Creed. The band's called Wolves in the Throne Room. Bobby Bonilla. I used to like that car a lot back when I was a kid. There's a big cat for Corey. Roberto Alomar. So a lot of this looks like it was picked over, at least for the older stuff. You don't see any Griffies. 92 Fleer Ultra. Greg Swindell, of course, had to be in there. This is crazy because I sent some packs to the sports car doctor, to uh, sports car ASMR. And he opened a pack of 92 Ultra in his most recent video. And it's the exact same collation. Bob Patterson, Greg Swindell, Eddie Murray. The exact same pack. That's crazy. I mean, I'm not really too surprised by it. But that's how it was with this era. Cattell Marte. There's a Giancarlo Stanton. And a Max Muncy. What else do we have in this mystery box? Ron Gant, rookie. Probably still a top loader from 1988. Are John Corey and Eric all brothers? <laughs> Christopher F. What's going on, man? We got some 70s football. 76. Can we find anything good? I, I, I couldn't really tell you too much about these. So if I pass over anything decent, let me know. But there's some pretty old ones in here. More 76s. Never seen one of those before. 85. Jim Plunkett's. There's Dan Fouts. 81 tops. Decent one. Better call Ron Saul. And 88 Donruss, like a bad wine. Gets, <laughs> gets worse with age. Gets worse and cheaper with age. Are G1 Transformers part of your toy stash? I do have some G1 Transformers. I... I Never was really into Transformers as a kid. Maybe like a little bit. I feel like my brother might have been a little more into those. But uh, I do have a box full of them that I just, I was going to sell them, honestly. It was not something I really ever got too into. I was more always into the actual typical action figures, Ghostbusters and stuff like that. Jim Marshall or Scott Scudder showing up. Of course, he had to be in there. Got some 93 tops now. Randy St. Clark. I'm pretty pissed in that one. Dan Serafini, 93 tops. Why couldn't it have been a Jeter? Dave, <laughs> Dave Beard, <laughs> creepy foot. For as many cards as I've gone through over the years, there's still ones that I see from the 80s and 90s that I don't remember ever seeing before. Kevin Taffany, black gold. Try putting that whole set together. Corey did it several years back. Cal Daniels. And we got a lot to go through. Maybe I'm taking, am I taking too long? Some more 2019s and some older football again. We'll change the title of this video. Maybe we'll find a Montana rookie in here. James Lofton, decent one there. And we got some 84s, Jim McMahon, Charlie Joyner, Young Blood, Ed. Too tall Jones, Rennie White. Yeah, so they, I mean, Otis Anderson, they left some decent football in here. In the early 80s. <laughs> that freaking stink bug. You can see it in the background, huh? That was done on purpose. 
I'm hope I was hoping someone said something about that. Lofton, Randy White again. James Lofton. Couple of his cards in here. Ron Jaworski. Other Lofton. And Steve Largent. Sorry, you guys can't. It's very hard for me to hold these in front of the camera. This big bulbous box in the background. I should have just pulled off a screen. Let's pull it off the freaking screen. How about that? Pull off the screen and lower this. And before we do that, and keep going through this, bring in the snow globe of Walkden. We got some 90 Donruss in here. There's still a good bit to go through, so we'll be sitting here for a long time. Please allow me to plant stuff in here while the box is off camera. All right, Frank White, Nighty Leaf. <laughs> Very sadistic looking Jerry Naren. Here's Jerry. Milt Thompson, 93 Select. What a weird mixture of cards in here. Night on Russ. There's Ken Hill. Of course he's going to be in there. Cangelosi, Dykstra, our 84 Tops football card. Paul L. is pumped on the Walkton Snow Globe being in the background. What is the best card going to be out of this box? Do you think we've seen it already? Dermot Thomas. Tim Bianca Batuka. Remember, everyone was so pumped on him back in the 90s. McNabb, Jim Harbaugh, Carl Pickens, Cornell Lake. We started traveling softball league at TPI Stingbugs. That'd be sick. I still want to do a freaking wiffle ball league. Anybody that's local, do a wiffle ball league or interested. Got to do that and then film it and have stats and stuff. It'd be awesome. Butch Weiniger. Some more junk wax era stuff. What the hell is that? Al Holland? <laughs> what is... What happened here? That's part of the freaking print, too. That is not stuck to the card. I'm obsessed with that. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. That that looks like there's a laser shooting out of his eye. Scott Geralt's He may be uh, second in command now to Al Holland. That is absolutely ridiculous, and I am obsessed with it. That is... It's not any kind of stain. It is part of the print, and that's pretty sick. That is not a gum stain. <laughs> Orlando Palmero. It's a name I've not said in quite a while. Corey Sunder Gold Cup. Such a weird combination of randomness. Chris Snopek. Number 92 Bowman. Bob Horner. Always so sweaty. Dave Schmitz. Russian bot alert. <laughs> you found the best card. Kevin Gross. Are these 2016 looks like 2016 some royals in here alex gordon new wax stack we're opening two blasters of 2008 tops looking for the alex gordon error card there's salvi perez it's a set you don't see too often these days Kevin Moss, dan plezak for joseph c i'll put that one aside for him scott scudder again Corey snyder Russ Springer. Chat is spazzing out like usual. We have, oh, so much more to go through. This is Barry Bonds' home run history. That's pretty cool. It's one of the better cards we've seen in this box. Put that up to the side. Got a bunch more vintage football in here. Matt Carpenter. There's a Joe Maurer Gold Cup. Kerry Wood. And a Big Poppy. Oh, yeah. Did I say 08? 06 is what I meant. Yeah, two blasters of those. And what is this? A sweet spot Marcus Allen. Commemorative manufactured football mini helmet with a terrible white corner on there. Put that off in the better stack, I guess. Looks like we got a, we're going to have mostly football at the bottom of this box. Jeff says, I love these boxes. Bought one on Goodwill and got three Cubby rookies. Yeah, they, they, they Goodwill, the shop Goodwill do, does have pallets of cards. It's like 700 some pounds. And I, I've wanted to get one of those for a while. They do get pretty pricey. They can go upwards of like a thousand bucks. Just a big process to try to get a 700 pound pallet of cards to your house. <laughs> so we got some repeat rookies here. Kevin Newman. Adamas Gold Cup once again. There's Tulitsky. Sanchez and good old Nunny Tops. 
and the 88, Gary Carter, Diving Kings, Denny Darwin. Some more junk wax era stuff. Yeah, so I'd be willing to bet, I don't know, it looks like somebody went through these and took the biggest names. Um, Phil Huffman. Really, really rough night at the pub for Phil Huffman. And it is definitely showing on this 81 tops. Very bad night. Louis Castillo. Never opened up a box of these. Studio 98. Maybe we should rip those for a future break. Ron Karkovice. Some 91 scores. It's such a weird mixture in here. What do we have here? Holly Baez and Ernie Banks. Tops greatness insert. And Kent Home Run Beck. Reach back into the trusty old sack. Was the partial 81 set? I guess not. Bunch of stuff in here in the bottom of the box. Joe Theismann. Looking for big rookies in 81 tops. I really doubt there's going to be a Montana rookie in here unless I planted one, which apparently I have a tendency to do that. James Lofton. Team leaders, Cliff Thrift. Jim McBride says, do you recommend any certain card sorting trays or do you do it old school and stack them on a the table? Yeah, I do it old school and stack them on the floor. <laughs> so typically I just I do it by hundreds and I do it by, down by tens. That's how I sort for sets. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can get card sorting trays for on Amazon, the VCW ones. I think they're like 30 bucks, somewhere around there. But everything goes on the floor at some point. But I'm getting better. I have a table set up in my office now that I'm sorting by player. It's going to take me forever, but things are coming off the floor here. You wouldn't have guessed it if I showed you the floor right now. It looks exactly the same. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Pat Harlow, rookie card. Lawrence Taylor's Anthony Carter. Some 91 upper deck football here. Do they leave anything behind is the question. Floyd Fence is IPC, Jeff Cirillo, and Gold Parallels. Any chance you could send that Studio Cirillo on that gold card from early with my winnings? Did I package your stuff up? I think I packaged your stuff up already, Floyd Fan. I can, uh, I don't know where they're at, but if I go back through these, yeah, I'll pull them aside for you and send them. That's not a problem. Any PC, Jeff Cirillo. We got our stack of top loaders in here. LC Greenwood. It's Tim Brown, rookie year. That's pretty cool. From 89 score. I don't know if that's actually considered as rookie. He does have an actual rookie in this set. Ezekiel Elliott, Daniel Jones, All-American. Well, Denny and Tomlinson, Tony Dorsett. Some insert cards here. James Harrison, Eric Dickerson. Which, that was actually his rookie year, 84. Rod Woodson, Tony Dorsett again. Kittle George. What the hell? George Kittle. Never heard of you. Warwick Dunn. <laughs> Does anybody, I'm sure some of you remember, like Paul L. Remembers uh, the filthy suitcase that probably had mites and infested my last house. But all of the Warwick Dunns that were in there that I think Roger J. ended up with. I'm pretty sure. Calvin Ridley, rookie card. What was that great Griffey oddball card? The great Griffey? Uh, I'm not sure what that one was. There was a few Griffeys that went up last night. I honestly can't remember. We got 89 Pro set in here. <laughs> Killer George's Corey calls him. I, I hear Corey say that about him all the time, and it's just that's the first thing that popped in my head when I saw it. Is I'm so used to him saying it and calling him Killer George. <laughs> There's Eddie Murray. Not the Eddie Murray that we're all familiar with. At least not me. The suitcase video is the TPI, the, <laughs> the first TPI video I ever watched. That's awesome. I think it was filthy. I think there was like a, was there a LeBron James rookie in there? I felt like there was. And I still have not bought anything for the Tuesday rip for my birthday next week. We're doing a live stream. I, It's Thursday already. I don't know if I, if I buy something tonight, I don't know if it's going to get here by Tuesday. I really highly doubt it. So that means we're stuck opening something that I have. Unless I can find a way to go find some junky box somewhere. I got a box of 2013 to role play. <laughs> I don't know if we want to open that. It's pretty awful. So, 
I don't know what we're going to do about this, but it's put me in a predicament because I kind of procrastinated a little bit, and um, that's not like me to do that. And now I might not have time to get something. I couldn't find a good box like uh, Yak Packs or like Three Bros on eBay or on Amazon. No Tops Kids on your birthday. <sighs> Annoy everyone and open up another box of adrenaline. I did like those. I did like that rip. Everyone was like, what is this? What's he doing? Stop him. Somebody stop him already. Got some pro set from Brett Favre's rookie year. And 86 tops coming up. Hubby Brenner. Find you an ultra-rare ultra rare box of 90 Donruss. <laughs> I definitely have one of those. There's got to be some sort of wax box that I have that we could open and have a good time somewhere. I don't know. But th there's not any that are actually going to be like a really good time opening because they're so freaking awful. So it's put me in quite a predicament. I may have to get something on Amazon and do Prime some sort of junk that I'm going to look on there tonight after this video. I'm going to find a junky thing that will be delivered by tomorrow and we're opening it on Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to entail. I just don't want to open some like mystery pack that comes in a bubble mailer. I want to open an actual like, you know, a legitimate product like three bros where they actually have packs, legit pack wrappers and they just fill them up with junk commons. That's what I want. Some sort of trash like that. And it's very hard to search for something like that. You can't just type in crappy mystery pack or shitty packs because nothing's going to pop up. No one's going to market them that way, even though they should, because people like me and us, we're looking for those. I want to open awful stuff on my birthday. Is that too hard? Tango says 1,000 unsearched cards. Yeah, I was trying to find packs. I, I, I could have bought my first sports card collection because that was pretty awful and it was fun at the same time. But I wanted to do packs. Eric may give you something for your birthday. Yeah, I wonder if he has anything laying around that's like crap like that. Maybe maybe Eric has a Yak Pack box. He might. You actually have to try to create stuff as bad as Three Bros. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Some more 76s here. We'll find Jack Youngblood is a nice one. He will find some, uh, some rookies. I had a bunch of these from a collection I bought a while back. Ken Anderson. But there's definitely some decent names here. I'm surprised that these are left in here. Paul is spot on. You have to actually out effort into beating that. It's very true. Should make TPIA packs and just make them absolutely awful and full of fill them full of Greg Swindells and just junk like that. The fourth, the fourth bro may come through something. <laughs> yeah, the fourth bro always comes through. He definitely does. It's no letdown ever on his end. Maybe J JSC will make some packs. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta find a solution here. We gotta do something. It's probably gonna be Amazon. I mean, I look on eBay tonight. I looked on both those sites already, and I could not find anything that was like remotely crappy. There's got to be some stuff. So once again, if you're not doing anything tonight, you're on eBay and you find some sort of junk box like that, like three bros. Repacked wax is pretty decent, so I'm not gonna open repacked wax because that's not funny. We need to open something that's supposed to be a serious release but sucks ass. That's what we want for the rip of my birthday. Eric doesn't have yak packs lying around. <laughs> he has stuff like 2018 Chrome. That's very true. Yeah, we need something awful that we can all laugh about and snicker. That's what we want. So that's what I'm going to try to find. Marcus Allen, a couple of his cards. There's Lester Hayes. It's an early card of his. It might actually be his rookie year. It's his second year. His rookie is 1980. Art Monk. Paul L. now singing in former. Yeah, so if you if you... If you want to save my birthday and save this channel, better yet, find me some sort of junk on eBay and send me a link to it. Post it on the Facebook page or in the group if you have to. Send me a message and say, open this crap. If enough, of a, if there was enough of a, our eyes looking out there, we will find some sort of junk product that came out like 10 years ago that sucks. And it will be glorious. So we got Kellen Winslow now. 91's. <laughs> but it has to be some sort of repack product. Not like a junk wax box. A serious repack product. Yak packs, rebros. Those are pretty serious repacks. There's got to be more of them out there. People definitely made those. And they're out there somewhere. And we have to find them. Or else. That's it. It will just ruin everything. Tony Collins. 
<laughs> Tickle the guys did like that. Ben Williams and Carl Roaches. Where is that Montana rookie at? This has become very tedious. I just want... Uh... I know Corey's hoping that we pull another Kill George, but... <laughs> I don't know if we're going to see any more Kittle George in here, Corey. And by the way, it's George Kittle. I have to tell him that all the time, and I'm just frankly getting tired of telling him. James Lofton. We've got a couple of James Loftons. <laughs> Kittle George. Paul Kaufman. Joe Ferguson. So, I mean, the football is probably better than the baseball we've seen in here. Lynn Kane looking rather devious. And Neil Colsey. What else we got in this trusty sack? I see some more top-loaded cards. We got some more football. We're going to be here all freaking night. This box is deep. Paul says, go to that antique mall with the $5 bingo boxes, and we can open another one of those. <laughs> the $5 bingo. I do have some non-sports stuff laying around. Maybe I should go to that antique mall. I got to find some pile of trash laying around somewhere. Joseph Nackis is definitely worth 10 bucks. I agree. It's worth 10 bucks just for a fun... And, um, I mean, there's, I think there's a, there's a few decent cards we found in here. Lots of older football that you'll probably see in, a, in an auction lot because <laughs> they don't have a place in my PC. I didn't notice these in here at all. I didn't look through this box when I bought it. I just, like, saw what was on top, and I'm like, that will be fun to go through that. But I was hoping it would be more baseball than anything else. It looks like a lot of it's picked through. Some swell cards here. I used to hate those for baseball back in the 90s. There's Dan Fout, Super Action. Some four sport from Classic. CD listening party and Paul Heron's disc reveal. I mean, I guess it's something we could do too. Paul Heron's disc reveal. Where is that CD? Yeah, I think it's still on the floor. Quadri Henderson rookie and Jester Week. Lots of junk if you do a search for Fairfield baseball. Yeah, maybe I should search for Fairfield. TJ Clemmings rookie card. Some USFL cards. 85. I don't see those very often. Chris Dolan, gold, some more 76s. And yeah, these will probably destroy his 800 count box divided by a year and drum for grabs at some point. Did not realize those were all in there. We got some more top loaded cards. What we got here? Kemba Walker and Jimmy Butler, 2019, 2020. Paul Heron's disc might end up with you in federal prison. <laughs> some more 2019s. 92 Fleer. Pat Perry. What do we have in 2019? Still no really big names left behind. Jarrett Wright. And there's a Blue Jays gold card numbered out of 20, 2005 or 6, I should say. Is that 5 or 6? It's 5. I always get 05, 06, 07, and 08. Mike Piazza. That's a decent one. Left behind. Dennis Eckersley from 92 Triple Play. I used to buy a bunch of those when I was a kid, and they are pretty bad looking. More 99 Russ. Bill Buckner ends that stack. Oh, so much 81 tops football in this box, that's for sure. A.J. Brown. Terminal Sledge, I hate him as a kid. <laughs> Joe Ferguson again. It was Benny Cunningham. What year is this? I don't really see these very often. 93. I don't like never see those. Walter Abercrombie. John Eric need to call a Pirates game one night. That'd be fun. That definitely would be fun. Yeah, 2006 is Yogg scoring there. I think I said eight earlier. So I have two blasters of 2006. I forgot to do them last one. I've had them for like two months now. And I want to rip both of them for needle and wax stack. And I opened... What I opened instead? I can't remember. 92 score or something. <laughs> then after the video, I was like, damn it. I forgot again. So that will be used for needle and wax stack. Those are hard to find, by the way. 06 blasters. They are tough to find. Turd Ferguson. What else do we got in this trusty sack? It is literally never ending. It's a bottomless pit. Steve Smith, some 91 score, or Fleer here, I should say. Some score. No Brett Favre rookie in there. 
James Owens. Kind of hit a drought on some of these older football cards. So I've seen some big names at first, and now not really so much. Very sweaty Steve Wilson. And the more that I'm alive and breathing, the more I want Taco Bell right now. And it's uh, it's getting pretty bad. So there's probably like a 97% chance that I'm going to end up there after this video is over. I just can't take it any longer. And I'm sure the Taco Bell creep is in there. Last time I was there, he stuck his head out the drive through to ask me how I was doing. And it was pretty creepy. Go back for the A.J. Brown rookie card. I passed that one up already. I'll have to go back for it later. That is a decent one. Michael Kadire, rookie card. Pat Henkin. I was pumped on him for a little while, back in the mid-90s. Kadire, rookie, is a decent one for this box. Do you want Taco Bell or do you want to go see your bestie? <laughs> the Taco Bell creep. I'd like to see the Roblox. I want to see what's up with that cane. So we got Sherman White, Butler. Yeah, it's going to be a Taco Bell night in Greensburg. Freddie Solomon. Nothing really. There's Lynn Dickey. Nothing really that sticks out to me here. Dan Dornink. No big rookies. No Elway. No Marino in 84. Criterion Racer Lee. What is going on, man? Thank you very much for that. Please check out Lee's channel. And you know what? I made, I made a mistake. I, I saw you did post the video a few days ago. I didn't get notified of it. I don't know why, but uh, I had to go back and look after I said that the other day. I'm like, does he stop making videos? And Lee still is, but for some reason, I don't know. YouTube does that. I feel like people have told me that with my videos, too. So check him out if you have not already. Subscribe to him. Nick West is a robot. Definitely watches your videos. Still doesn't know he's the robot. <laughs> yeah, I love being on a first-name basis with people at Taco Bell. With uh, the robot, I should say. But hey, there's a couple other employees in there that uh, they're like, do you, have a, do, do you have a twin? So I'm like, no, nah, I don't think so. But it's probably just me that's here every day. No normal human being would be there that much. But I have kind of cut back a little bit. There's Jack Youngblood, Rennie White again. <laughs> Corey's still holding out for that Kittle George. I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't know if we're going to find any more Kittle George in here, man. There's another James Lofton. Ron Howard. <laughs> Saw Dan Marinko. we got some more shiny cards in here. I'm intrigued by these. What do we have? Bishop Sankey. We got some rookies. Leonard Fournette. Brian Finley. Marquise Belair. There's Philip Rivers. Robot is over the chain smoking neighbors watching this feed. <laughs> yeah, I have... I don't know if I have any videos of Robot. I definitely have an interaction. I have an audio message with the Robot. I was going to post on the Facebook page a, while, a long time ago where he was just berating me with questions. Because he'd do that, and he'd ask like four or five questions, and they were so aggressive. That was before we were on a first-name basis. And I pulled to the drive to him, like, yeah, what's up, Matt? He's like, hey, what's up, John? You get on that level of Taco Bell... Life is just, it's good. I can tell you that right now. I can tell you that. So, even though it's my arch enemy we're talking about. Josh Sweat. Deshaun Hamilton. So, a bunch of rookies in here, but guys that I'm not familiar with. Josh Rosen. Ezekiel Elliott again. And some more Donruss. Taylor Rapp. Corey's got to find that video. Do you want to round up for the Taco Bell phone? Yeah, they always ask that. Not all the stores ask that, though. There's, like, some some rogue stores don't ask that at all. I, I'm, like, waiting for it. I'm, like, you going to ask me about a roundup? Round up for the Taco Bell fund? What is the Taco Bell fund exactly? What is What am I funding? And they always, like, try to get you, too. Like, they won't tell you your total, and they're, like, you want to round up to the Taco Bell fund? So if it's, like, 501, <laughs> round up 99 cents to the Taco Bell fund, which... Still to this day, don't know what that is. It used to be to run around up to help a local team go to college. Now it's just the Taco Bell fund. Like, I feel like I'm not funding local teams anymore. It's something much more nefarious and malicious. Joey Galloway. 
It's one of his rookie cards. It's probably a good one back today. Josh Cribbs, Maurice Drew, Lawrence Timmons rookie. Dorsett, Otis Wilson rookie card. Kevin Barlow rookie from 2001. Chris Conley and Khalil Mack. Not Mac Khalil, Corey. Send a taco to college. So that's not the end of the uh at the end of the top loaded cards. My life just got really dull all of a sudden. Lawrence Timmons, he was a real good he was real good for a few years. You're funding Taco Bell artificial intelligence. <laughs> so some more 81s, Jim Zorn. And I don't know if we're going to find anything else half decent in here, but there's Marcus Allen again. <laughs> Kevin Barlow on a top loader. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these were top loaded a long time ago. Don says Jim Zorn is awesome. Space Case cards is well worth 10 bucks. There's a lot of older football in here, so I, I, don't, I don't know. It's just sort of fun of going through it worth 10 bucks just to see some different years and stuff. It's not all junk wax. Art Still, Rob Carpenter. And some of these are, for being in a box for this long, I mean, I feel like a lot of these are in pretty good condition from like the mid 80s. Got some newer football in here, which I don't know nothing about that. Le'Veon Bell. Keyshawn Johnson was real pumped on him in the mid 90s. I, was, I didn't collect football, but I like PC'd Keyshawn Johnson and Kajana Carter. I don't know why, but probably the hype surrounding them. Jim Zorn, an Iowa hero. There's Eli Manning, Alex Smith. So there's some decent names in here. Philip Rivers, but base cards. Damian Ratley, rookie card. Tremaine Edmonds. Plenty of good junk wax on eBay, but it wouldn't get there on Monday. Yes, yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to avoid junk wax. I, I have tons of junk wax boxes, but I'm trying to get something like that we haven't opened that's kind of like Three Bros. I can go to Sheets and buy those packs of three bros that are awful, but they're like eight bucks for 30 cards. <laughs> Kajana Carter was garbage. <laughs> I was stoked on his Darkie Sean Johnson. He was kind of hyped up when he first came up. Greedy Williams, rookie card. These are press proofs. Red border. I've never heard of Greedy Williams. Maybe on my birthday, I will chug a uh, Ecto Cooler. I will chug the Shaq Pepsi and just end it all together. Cordell Stewart, Jim Plunkett. Howie Long, Jay Novacek, not Novacek, like Corey will have you believe, and Brett Favre. An interesting fact about Brett Favre, the Brett Favre, his birthday is also on Tuesday along with mine. I don't know if I ever told you the guys that or not, but we share a birthday together. As you will see in the back of this card, 10 freaking 10. Good day to be born. Don't waste the Shaq C. I will buy it. <laughs> I think Joseph C. already bought it. Joseph C. paid 100 bucks for that a while ago. Thank you. This is birthday bros. We definitely are birthday bros. <laughs> Nick West says, didn't know that. Dexter Bussy. And I don't know if we're finding anything else in here. James Lofton. There's a bunch of James Loftons in this box. We are getting down close to the nitty gritty here. It's upsetting because I'm thinking about opening an entire case of 1990 Fleer after this video is over. I didn't talk myself out of it yet, but uh, I don't know if I really want to. Looking for the Mark Creese Grissom rookie card. Mike Bragg. Yeah, a bunch of, uh, I don't know, I feel like there's not really anything too prominent in that stack. There's Ken Anderson and Fran Tarkenton. It's a decent one. So from 1976. Not bad. And Brett Favre is also still waiting for your G.I. Joe. <laughs> Mark Lee. Curtis Johnson. And there's Eric Dickerson. That's also from his rookie year. I wouldn't really consider that his rookie card, though. But Norm Johnson. Not going to find any big rookies in here, I don't think. Or am I? I've never seen these ones before. I don't even know what year those are. Looks like 1984. 
Rod Perry. And we got some Nighty Don Russ in here. There's some more 70s. Football. Bill Simpson. Matt Shuey. Pearl Park says, shout out to, to 10, 10, my wife's birthday as well. That's sick, man. She'd be so proud. I just told P TPIA she has the same birthday. Pearl Park, thanks a lot, man. And happy birthday to your wife. That's freaking awesome. Definitely a good day to be born. Check out Pearl Park. If you're not subscribed to him also, of course, you're posting a link to his channel. 10, 10 is the freaking day. You can tell your wife that she's got the same birthday as Brett Favre. And tell her to come celebrate with us and with you on Tuesday night when we rip some box of trash that I still have to go <laughs> and track down. It's going to end up being so bad. I should just make my own box, make my own pack wrappers. But that would suck all the fun out of it because then I wouldn't know what's in there. Let's get real tanked and then make them so I forget what I put in there. Yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of cards are 10 bucks. Who do I share a birthday with? <laughs> Sydney Ponson. Was that Daryl Green 84 Tops rookie? It might have been. I don't really know. I know some of the bigger rookies in that set, like the Elway Marino Dickerson, but uh, that's probably the extent of my knowledge on 84 Tops rookies. He probably got dressed up as <laughs> for Halloween as a baby. There's Todd Benzinger. Hopefully when I go down to Maryland, I can find uh, that five-cent Todd Benzinger at the Antique Mall. I think it was. What was that place called? Like Old Forge or something like that? Jeff Dedman, Raphael Belliard, do we have offensive signage in the background? We did not, unfortunately. Call it out Washington. And we got not too much left in this box. Very upsetting that this is coming to an end. I don't really want it to. I want to keep looking. But we have reached the bottom of the box. I feel like these were put in here not too long ago because the box, the inside of the box is clean. There's not dust in it. It also has Amazon tape on it, so it's a fairly recent box. Someone just shoveled a bunch of cards in here. Mel Blount. And Irving Fryer. Marshall Lynch and Marshall Falk. Cunningham. Randy Moss. There's no bugs in it. <laughs> Extend the screen by searching the floor. <laughs> Mark Mosley. I search the floor. That happens every day. Every day I find cards that I forgot that I owned. I think it was like yesterday I was looking through a stack and I was like, oh, there's my Chipper Jones Desert Shield just in a stack of random crap. Yeah, it's fun. It's like Christmas. It comes every single deer or day. You share your birthday with David Lee Roth too? <laughs> nice. <laughs> definitely, definitely a good day then, David Lee Roth. A wild man. I'm sure there's others as well. John Riggins... This is it right here. This is the end of this Bulbas box, $10 flea market box. So, I don't know. A lot of people say that they thought it was worth it. The best cards, probably, I mean, the Vance Slyke rookies, that stack of random rookies I'll put in my backup box. There's nothing really too crazy that stuck out. Marcus Allen beat up Sweet Spot helmet. Nelly is the number one guy I share a birthday with. <laughs> but a lot of vintage football in here. So, pushing buttons, this is the end. I've seen two Daryl Green rookies, and he's a Hall of Famer. I'll have to go back and check those out. There's Ken Anderson, a couple Ken Andersons. Radio Flyer Wagon still in the ba basement. It definitely is behind my I See Light sign. It is still down here. It's the uh, Toys R Us Red Wagon. James Brooks. Share be the big... Poppy. That's pretty awesome. John Riggins, there's Art Monk again. Horrible miscut to that one. Art Monk, Dexter Manley, and uh, that's it. That is freaking it. I can't believe that's the bottom of the box. Is there anything else left in here? There's got to be something else. Come on. No, I think that's uh, that might be the end of it, man. I think we're we reached the end. Oh, sweet! I just found this in there. That was the very last card in the box. We have a Joe Morgan rookie card. Oh, this was stuck in the, under the flap. Ozzy Smith rookie. 
So ended up being pretty well worth it. These two were stuck on the flat at the bottom. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just pulled those off the floor. But that's it. The $10 box. Do you think it was a thumbs up or a big fat double thumbs down? Definitely always fun to buy stuff like that when you see it for 10 bucks. You can't go wrong. It's a fun risk that you take. But um, I appreciate you guys all being here. Again, if you have time tonight and you want to scour eBay or Amazon and find some sort of junk repack product that's like a pack full of or a box full of packs, feel free to post on the Facebook page, tag me in it, send, send me a message. We got to get that very, very soon. So we have the time of our lives on 10 10 this coming Tuesday. Uh, I don't know if I have anything for you guys tomorrow night or not, but uh, I will definitely have something soon. So thanks again for being here, guys. You guys are the best. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Have a great night, guys.